this video for the Sage and Preset HD receiver, we're going to talk a little bit about the info and EPG buttons, okay? So this will be fairly simple. Um, there's a, an I, a button with an I written on it uh, on the left hand side of your remote. And if you've just pressed that when you're on the channel there, it brings up, you know, some basic information like the current time, when the program started, when it ends, the name of the program and stuff like that. But if you press it again, it actually comes up and gives you a program synopsis and things like that okay so that's handy enough so we'll just if you press the i button again it goes away so the real killer application of freesat or on freesat is the fact that it has a seven day epg and if you look on the right hand side of your remote just across from the i button there's a button that says guide and that's your epg button okay so that's your electronic program guide and where you when you hit that then it comes up and it gives you a choice of searching by channel genre or you can go into all channels. So I'm going to go into all channels here for argument's sake. And what you can see here then is, I'm just going to arrow across and you can see that going forward into the future, you can see that there's a full EPG on it, okay? So that's very good. And that is, you know, we'll say, the most attractive thing basically about FreeSat that people go for is to have the EPG. So just say um, we want to uh, see what's on uh, Scooby-Doo later on. We just arrow down to that, press the I button, and you know we can pull up the program synopsis there as well and things like that. So just to uh, get rid of that off screen, we hit the return button and then we're back to the EPG. So there's other things then, like if you wanted to see the next day, if you look down the bottom, you have things there like um, the, the color buttons basically, you know, for uh, shortcuts. So if we wanted to go plus one day, we'd hit the yellow button. So you can see currently in the top right we're on Sunday 26th of May. So if we hit that, then if you look on the left, uh, just down a bit on the left, you can see I've moved on to Monday the 27th of May. So and that shows me what's on tomorrow. So if you hit the blue button, it goes minus one day and we're back to the current day. But you get the gist of that and you can see then, you know, basically how that would work. So the other thing to note then is that if there's a program on in the future, and you wanted a reminder, uh, you know, uh, to watch it and stuff like that, what you can do is you can arrow down to it and just say for argument's sake, I'm just, uh, under no circumstances, am I going to miss the England versus New, New Zealand cricket match, okay? So I've arrowed over there and if you press OK, what this does then is confirm adding timer event and press OK to add event. So I'm going to press OK and what this has done now is when that program is due to start, a reminder will come up on the screen and tell me it's about to start. And it should actually, you know, possibly kick you, kick you over to that channel. So you press OK again and then you've been, you know, you return to the EPG. Just to get out of the EPG then, all you have to do is simply hit the exit button and you're back to live TV. So that's it in a nutshell. Basically just a little bit about the info and EPG buttons on the Sage and FreeSat HD receiver.